All right, so here we are. We're at the new home in our home building world. We've been making this house out of bricks. We got a lot of brick blocks here. We got some windows. We've got some chiseled stone, I believe are what these blocks are called. We've got a sheep here. Pretty much got the first layer of the house complete, but with no doors on it yet. So we do need to decide what kind of doors we're using for this home. We need doors on the bedrooms. Uh, we might need a door to this back area, or we might just leave it open. I didn't finish these little parts right here because I might be putting something, some nice kind of decoration in there. We'll see a little bit later what we end up using this room for. But the bedrooms, as you can see, this is Adrian's bedroom here with his blue bed and Adrian's chest. It's got some copper floors. All the bedrooms have copper floors. This is my bedroom here with the pink bed and my chest. These bedrooms are not finished yet. And if we go out the back area, we've got a cow. And we've got the start of a fence here. Again, I haven't finished the corners of the fence here or these parts right here because I'm not sure where I'm going to have the fence gate or if there's going to be some other kind of pillar or something else. So I'm going to leave that for now. I'm not going to worry too much about this backyard area for now. I'm not going to worry about the doors for now. What I do want to get started on is the roof of this building so we can get it nice and secured. Now, based off of Adrian's suggestion for this building, we're going to continue with the chiseled stone blocks. We're going to build an A-frame type of uh, roof here. And we're going to put some chiseled block all the way across the top. And then some logs to make up the actual roof. So, what I'm going to be working on here is gathering some logs, most likely oak logs. There's quite an abundance of oak trees here. And we've already got some chiseled stone block bricks. So that's a good start. We'll get started with those chiseled stone bricks. Um, empty out some of the inventory here. We're done making the clay bricks, so we won't be needing that clay anymore. We already have a couple windows. We will be needing some more windows, so I can go ahead and start baking some sand, although I don't have any fuel. We'll worry about that in a minute. And I do have quite a bit of oak saplings. So... We haven't found an abundance of coal in this world, so I've been having to chop a lot of wood to make fuel for our furnaces. So as you can see, this nice lush swampy forest area is kind of a little bit barren right now. So we're going to throw down a whole bunch of oak saplings. Get some oak trees grow, growing here. Got a frog over there. Frog. Got an apple up in that tree. Another frog here. It's a lively little world we're working with here. What's up, frog? Got a stick there. Got some more oak saplings. We're just going to put down a whole bunch of these trees. And then we're going to come chop them right back down. So we'll be needing the oak saplings, or we'll be needing the oak trees for both the wood for the, the logs for our roof, but also for fuel for our furnaces. Now the other option that I do have for fuel after I get this apple 
The other option I do have for fuel is I can go back to the our original house. We may have some coal stashed away there somewhere. So I'm going to take a little trip while I sheep while I keep putting down these oak saplings. We're going to have a lot of oak trees here pretty soon, y'all. So we don't have to worry about no oaks. And I might go see if I have some bones to make some bone meal. Get these oak trees growing a little bit faster. But if not, that's okay too. Because I do have some other work that I could be doing. Um, before I really start with the oak logs on the roof of this home, I will first need to start with the chiseled stone bricks. So I'll get the chiseled stone bricks started first. I will first go back to the to our other home. We'll take a look at that real quick and see if there is any fuel that can be brought back into this area. So in order to get to our other home, we got this nice little dirt path that that I've made here that crosses this nice little river or the little lake area and we can follow this path around eat a few of these apples and here we go we got our little bee house in there. If we need to collect some honey, we got lots of flowers. Keep those bees happy. And in case we need any dyes, we have our cow farm, cow farm here. We have chicken in there as well. And this is our home. This is the first home that Adrian and I built together. Just a pretty basic uh, two-story cobblestone structure. Oak doors, a little bit of oak wood on the inside. Adrian's got the blue bed again. I've got the light blue bed. We've got additional rooms. We've got a room downstairs for a uh, sissy here. Which leads out this way to the dock. And then we've got the uh, got the upstairs. And this room is for Mama here. Adrian built these nice little windows overlooking our garden and our flower garden and the sea. Mm. It's a nice view up here. We've got a pretty nice room. Uh, let's get back to work here. Uh, now what we're looking for, we'll take some of that bone meal. Let's take some of these bones. We'll take, we're going to drop this wool, drop that flesh, drop, oh, we're going to put these sticks together, drop this nautilus shell, because I have no idea what to do with nautilus shells, drop this fishing pole, actually I'm not going to drop the fishing pole in here because I think we have a spot for fishing poles. Uh, I'm going to check these mm. furnaces, see if there's any coal, which there is not. Check Adrian's chest. He might have some, but I don't see any. Come down here. Throw the fishing pole in this chest. I should have put the knot of the shell in there, but we'll worry about that later. We got some beautiful amethyst up here. Found a nice amethyst geode. Adrian broke off a couple pieces and added them to our house. One of these days we'll go. That amethyst geode is out there somewhere in the sea. One of these days we'll go out there and collect some more amethyst. So now we need to check out the workshop here. Because there's also no fuel here. But in this workshop what we do have to work with 
is quite a bit of stone. Some cobblestone from our mining adventures. And we're going to put this cobblestone right here in the good old stone cutter. Actually, no, we can't do that because we need to first bake this cobblestone in the smooth stone. So we're going to load up that blast furnace there. And I guess the next step, next thing that we're working on, is going to be cutting wood. That will be an adventure for another day. As we can see the half moon rising. That means that it's time to hit the old light blue bed and call it a day.